Well, maybe they just don't know what Mitt Romney's real plan is. He wants a dramatic overhaul of the tax code, and he wants to drop, uh, drop the marginal rates significantly. And yet, he's not saying which of the loopholes and deductions and credits and exemptions he wants to close. That is, that's huge, that's significant. How can he not tell the American people those facts? Well, let's back up for a second. This is a, a race about two dramatically different philosophies. The president's out there saying he's going to raise taxes. He's made no mistake that he's campaigning on a platform of higher taxes. What Governor Romney and Congressman Ryan are proposing is they're proposing broadly lower rates, but they're proposing tax reform. And as you've said, they're going to get rid of some of this underbrush, some of the, uh, some of the deductions and some of the exemptions that but are clouding the tax code. why won't he explain how and which ones and by how much? Well, you know, a number of different bipartisan commissions over the years have told us exactly how we get there. The key is presidential leadership, and that's something that's been lacking. That's something that Governor Mitt Romney is going to provide in the White House. Yeah, but Mr. Chen, forgive me, you're just not answering my question, so let me put it again. Which loopholes and deductions and credits and exemptions the, the president is going to get rid of would affect all Americans before they cast their ballot? Don't they deserve to know which ones are going which ones are not, and by how much? Well, Greg, Governor Romney's been very clear that, first of all, we're going to look to curb deductions and exemptions for high-income taxpayers. And secondly, a lot of different deductions and exemptions are out there. We've got a lot of different ways to get there. This is about a process where Governor Romney sits down with the Congress to make decisions about what is going to be best for the American people. So that's it. He's not going to let him know ahead of time, but before the November I mean, he's going to wait to work with Congress afterwards.